Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's recipe is tasty and delicious and really simple to make. It's for cauliflower fried rice. And I want to say thank you to two viewers, Auntie Kamini Parson as well as Sleeping Beauty for sending in your recipes. Auntie Kamini sent in a recipe for a cauliflower kitri, which was really interesting, so I'll be doing that in another video. And Sleeping Beauty sent in an Asian style fried rice made with cauliflower. So I took elements from both of the recipes and I put this together for you all. So if you want to see how I do it, keep watching. This recipe is keto friendly and it is gluten free. So it's very healthy for those of you on diets. So the first step is to rice the cauliflower. So all you want to do is cut it up into smaller pieces and add it to your food processor or your blender. Or you can even use a box grater for this. I'm just going to go ahead and put it into my blender and pulse it until it resembles rice. So to put the cauliflower fried rice together, you'll need some cilantro and I'll just roughly chop that. I have a scotch bonnet pepper that I'll chop really finely, a few cloves of garlic that I'll mince up, a nice big chunk of ginger because for some reason I just love ginger in fried rice so we must have the ginger. But it's totally up to you if you want to keep that, you can omit it if you want or just add smaller amounts. I have some mild peppers here, these are pimento peppers and we call these seasoning peppers back in the islands. Some stalks of celery as well as some leaves, some sive or scallion and a few leaves of shadow benny, bandania, culantro or recao and this is just for that extra trimbegonian kick. And I'll use a bit of sesame oil and some soy sauce and salt and pepper. And you'll definitely need that entire head of riced cauliflower. And you can use extra ingredients if you want to, like carrots, sweet peppers, and ingredients that are typical in a fried rice. But because I want to keep this 100% keto, I'm not going to add too many extra ingredients. So you all can add whatever you wanted, depending on what your diet allows. You can even add some shrimp or even some sauteed chicken breast or something I would really recommend. I've tried this already. You can fry up some bacon and then just crumble it into the rice. It tastes so delicious. You'll have to try this out. You can even use some turkey bacon. And some nice garlic shrimp goes really nice with it. So there's lots of additions you can add to it. So I have my wok here on medium high heat and I'm going in with some coconut oil. So if you're on the keto or the paleo diet, stick to the nut oils. So straight into your hot oil goes your garlic and the ginger. After about 15 seconds, go in with the hot pepper, pimento peppers. Let that saute or chunky. Add the chopped shadow benny or the bandania as well as the celery. I'm gonna save the cilantro while the rice is cooking, then we'll add the cilantro. So, after about a minute of frying up or chunking, add your riced cauliflower. So you want to mix so that everything's combined. I hope my wok is big enough because I'm using a good amount of cauliflower here. See how colorful it is? So this will just take about five minutes to cook. You just want the cauliflower to get a nice tenderness. So before I add salt, I'm gonna go in with the soy sauce. Cause you know the soy sauce is gonna have a little salt to it.
So after about a minute of frying, go ahead and taste it, see if it needs any extra salt. To me, I find it needs a little color, so I'm gonna add a little more soy sauce. So I'm going in with a little bit of salt now. I'm gonna add the cilantro. You can add a little parsley too if you want. You can just substitute the cilantro with parsley. That looks so good and it smells just like regular fried rice. So it's nearly finished cooking. So I've just added a little drizzle of sesame oil and the camera cut off, but I don't want to add too much. So honestly, this looks like it's ready. So just taste it, see if it needs anything else and it's ready to be saved. I'm gonna thin it off and I'm gonna garnish it with my scythe or my scallions that I chopped up. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy recipe for cauliflower fried rice. I have to say thank you again to Sleeping Beauty as well as Auntie Carmony Parson for sending in your recipes. If you all liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel to see all the latest videos. And make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And make sure you leave all your comments, questions and suggestions in the comment section below. And give a big shout out to Sleeping Beauty and Auntie Carmony. So until I see you all in my next video, bye!